Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler, and a big welcome to you to this match. And our match today, Arsenal against Tottenham. We have every chance of a cracking game today because this is, as you all know, a local derby. And in charge today, the match referee, Chris Mumple. Spurs have started the first half. Etienne Capu. Sandra. Eric Lamella. I do think this team are clever when they do attack, just like this. They're playing well. That's good interplay. Now they're passing the ball well. Just gone wrong for him at the vital moment. Eric Lamella keeps it going well. Good challenge, good contest. Soldado, he hasn't dealt with the danger totally. Defender puffing out his cheeks in relief there. He was worried. Olivier Giroud. Javinho. The play building up nicely now. And here's a chance for Arsenal. And the shot's off. They score. What a collector's item of a goal for the defender. Well, we see so much defensive work, good defensive work, I think, during the course of the campaign, but uh, that is a collector's item. Well, that's the first goal of the game. It's 1-0. Stopping the pass, getting through with a good piece of anticipation. He's working hard to keep possession against the challenge. Jack Wilshire. Tottenham penalised now. Free kick. There's no booking here, and they're nowhere near the right distance back. Great. And he goes for goal with his head. A good hit at it, but I'm afraid it was off the radar. Etienne Capu. Cotton Hotspur in possession here. Etienne Capu. And Arsenal have possession. They've won it. I think Arsenal did, which uh, was very uh, modern day, a long time ago, as they moved the franchise, as they would say in the USA these days. Um, from South London to North London, it upset Tottenham, hence this rivalry, but it, it got them the sort of base that they really built from. Yeah, it was a big move, wasn't it, to come from Woolwich, south of the river. Um, and that's what Tottenham still call them, the South London club. But uh, when they made the move, uh, they never looked back, moved into a fantastic stadium at, at Highbury, which uh, 
Well, it stands to this day and converted into homes, but uh, it's a wonderful place, Highbury, a special place. And I think any player, whether we play for Arsenal or against, they would they would pick it out as one of the most enjoyable places to play football. Here is an opportunity to break forward, really. Eric Lamella has a good pass. Defenders on full alert here. Good ball. Sandra. He's found his teammate. And he's going to shoot. Very good defending to get in the way of that shot. The build up here was good, but that's been stopped by a foul and a bit of free kick. Good ball. Goal! Off the post and in. Well, that's just what they were praying for. They've got the ball in the net and they're level again. I oh, got some bend on that. Started a couple of yards outside, but it's gone in and clipped the inside of the post. Wonderful effort. Well, that was the equaliser and it's 1 1. Santi Cazola. Musa Dembele. Spurs certainly will want to impose themselves on a match, but it might not be easy for them to do that, certainly not straight away. No, I don't think so, and I think defensively Martin Tottenham will be have to something approaching the best to, to contain this outfit. He's got support through the middle. Bale. In the clear here. He committed himself, and he made the right decision. One thing Arsenal have been able to bring from their old home Highbury to the new stadium, the Emirates, is the quality of the pitch, absolutely perfect. Christian Eriksen, well executed. Moussa Dembele, that's gone back to him. Soldado, a little spurt to get away from the defender. Leo Walcott, referee playing the advantage for Arsenal. Great ball. Got to cross it. Goalkeeper might be needed again. Eric Lamella. Christian Eriksen. Passing the ball nicely to get onto the attack here. Theo Walcott. Ramsey. Javinho. They're passing it well here. Here he is with a chance. That could have been a penalty. Let's get that slight tackle absolutely right. Here's Walcott. And that will be one minute, says the fourth official's electronic board of added time. We've got the midfield players back behind the ball as well. And it's broken down straight away. And well, everything to play for in the second half. We've reached half time at 1-1. Even Stephen at half-time, Alan. Fair reflection? Yeah, I think so. As we sit here, Martin, it's difficult to really call a winner. It will be decided, as so often, by which set of strikers can produce. That's a great interception. And that's a change the direction of the play, and they can break quickly now. And it, oh, he takes the shot, and it's into the back of the net, and they're in front now. Arsenal, having picked themselves up, they've gone behind. 
Ramsey. Now here's a chance for a counter-attack. Can they make anything of it? Yes. And it goes for goal. He stopped the first shot. Oh, and that's a penalty. Penalty scorer of some style here. Yeah, an emphatic finish, no doubt about it. And it's 3-1, the goals keep on coming. Here's Walcott. In quickly. Bale, who's got a great reputation for goal getting, it's thoroughly deserved. He's in the clear. And he drives for goal. Must be. And that's a goal for Tottenham. Setting the standards here, the skipper. Yeah, just when the team wanted somebody to lead from the front, he's done it yet again. But well, it was a good effort, and I think it was a good save. And he could do nothing about it. The only criticism of the keeper you would have, Martin, is he didn't carry it away out of the danger zone. And that is another goal to back towards victory here. Oh, and they're on the counter-attack here. Bale. Ramsey. There's going to be a substitution here for the home side. Jack Wilshire playing a pass is one thing, but having the vision to see it is another, and he's got all those qualities. Eric Lamella. Well, this is how it is in terms of shots today. Will he cross it here? Saw it coming, cut it out, good work. Teammate free in the centre. No, no, the opposition come away with the ball, that's ended that attack. Spurs get the referee's advantage. He could cross it from here. They've worked that well to get the cross in. Ramsey. Santi Cazola. Bale. Quick ball. And that's the opposition. Getting back on the ball after a promising attacking situation. Santi Cazola. That's a good chance now to cross. So that is all the chance to grab the ball at the feet of the attacking player. Well, if the striker would have got his foot to it and nicked it away, I think it'd have been a penalty. Bale. He's got another player up in support. Keeps it going well. Theo yeah, Walcott. And Tottenham get it back again. Fail darting forward to get a pass possible. Good pass. That's a good pass. Soldado. He would have got into the clear there, but he's been stopped in his tracks. Good ball. Good ball. And the attacker needs a bit of help, and he's going to get it now. This is the chance. And the shot's off. Still in play here. Well, this is great goalkeeping. But what a bonus for a team to have a keeper in this kind of form. Santi Cazola. Tackle here. Well, this is how it is at the moment, as far as possession is concerned. Sandro. 
It's a glory, glory game for Tottenham Hotspur, no doubt about that. And it has defied the odds, really. It should have been much, much tighter. But Spurs have had their own agenda here, and they're closing in on a fantastic win. The change now for Arsenal. home team about to make a change well they've got the ball back a quick break is on well they were breaking away well but in the end the defenders snuffed it out Sandro well it's a passing game and that's a wonderful example of it he's made a clear chance for himself well executed goes for goal he's made the save it's still in play here Slides in now, sliding in, he didn't get the man, he got the ball, it was risky, but he got away with it. Some options on the bench for the home team. Ramsey. Got in with the tackle, but not the control. And the play. Well, this is a chance from the free kick for Spurs. And their player, who was the culprit, hits yellow yeah, I think in this climate there's no doubt that's the correct decision so we're going to see a double switch now there's no booking here and they're nowhere near the right distance back well here's the setup at the free kick and he's kept out the shot it's still in play though that's really well done good defending advantage rule played for Spurs Really in the clear now, in on goal. And here's a shot now, and he scores spectacularly. There's nothing like one goal to give you the confidence for another, and that's just what's happened here. Well, I think all good teams are ruthless, Martin. But this team have been exactly that there. They wouldn't let up. Rov insulting the wounds. Well, they pulled away, and that big lead now is surely something that they'll see through in this match. Time ticking away. In comes the challenge. They're passing it well here. And here's the shot. Well, despite the one consolation goal, no doubt about who was going to win this game, and they've done it by five goals to one. Well, the game is over, and in truth, it was quite disappointing, simply because it was so one-sided. Well, it was, but you've got to admire the professionalism of the team in charge, because they kept the foot on the gas. They showed no mercy at all. Well, we've got the classified results waiting for you. Our man is Mike West. Thanks, Martin and Alan. The Barclays Premier League. Arsenal, one. Tottenham Hotspur, five. Chelsea, three. Liverpool, two. Manchester City, four. Aston Villa, one. Newcastle United, four. West Ham United, nil. Reading, one. Norwich City, three. Southampton, one. Swansea City, nil. Stoke City, 1. Queen's Park Rangers, 3. Wigan Athletic, 1. West Bromwich Albion, 2. Now let's see what effect that's had on the league standings. At the top of the table remain Tottenham Hotspur with 30 points. In second, Manchester City with 25 points. In third, Newcastle United with 20 points. In fourth, Chelsea with 20 points. In fifth, Manchester United with 17 points. 
In sixth, Everton with 17 points. In seventh, Arsenal with 17 points. In eighth, Liverpool with 16 points. Bottom of the table, West Ham United with three points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Reading with six points. Third bottom, Sunderland with eight points. Fourth bottom, Wigan Athletic.